Today I want to talk about a new feature called Super Resize inside of Photoshop. And this is an AI-based enlargement feature that can turn a small JPEG, like the one you see right here, into a RAW file in an Adobe DNG format. In the past, I've made a video on Topaz Gigapixel AI, and it is a pretty cool tool, but it's another piece of software that has to be installed on your machine. And if you are already your Photoshop user, you now have access to Super Resize. And today I wanna to show you how to do Super Resize. Adobe did not make it very straightforward in order to access this like they should have, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, I wanna talk about enlarging older, small photos. And I'm gonna use an example of Chojin Miyagi. Chojin Miyagi is the, the grandfather of Goju-ru. This is uh, the grandfather of, of the karate that I study personally. And if you have ever seen The Karate Kid, which you probably have, then uh, you would recognize Goju-ru Karate in that movie. And yes, Mr. Miyagi was named after Chojin Miyagi. So the photo you see right here is Chojin Miyagi, and this is a very, very old photo, as you can tell. And what I wanna show you is, if you look over here, you'll see that we've got the original, which is 433 kilobytes. This is a very small image. It is extremely small. It is 847 pixels by 1088. But I ran it into Gigapixel, and I enlarged it to a 2795 as the widest length. And you can see that uh, it actually increased it to 6.9 megabytes. And when you when we look at these images side by side, you'll see that there is some improvement. Uh, there's no real loss in quality in the enlargement. Gigapixel does a pretty decent job. Now, of course, this is not the cleanest photo to begin with, but that's okay. I wanted to show that an old photo won't gain more artifacts by enlarging. Then what you got here is another one that is 24.4 megabytes, and this is actually a DNG file that Photoshop has made for me using the new Super Resize feature. So let's dig into this so you can see the differences of how this works. So here we are inside of Gigapixel. You can see it's actually rendering the preview, and the max height is set to 2795 right here. And you can see the side by side that it actually did get a little bit sharpened, which is kind of nice. I have this all set to auto right now, and you can see that there is some improvement. I have face refinement off because it's not gonna do any good for a photo like this. And then all we have to do is hit save, and it's going to save that image just as you see it, this beautiful enlarged image that isn't any less quality, even while expanded using Gigapixel. But Topaz made it very simple. You just open the image and you, hit save and it's basically done for you. So let's head, head into Photoshop so you can see what Photoshop's method of doing this. If your photo is not a raw file to begin with, you should actually start inside of Adobe Bridge. You go find that photo, right click on the thumbnail for that photo, and then you're gonna choose open in camera raw. Now once camera raw is open, all you have to do is right click again now on that photo and hit enhance. You are now presented with this new dialog box and in it is a super resolution checkbox. Make sure that is checked. It will be checked by default and then hit enhance. As you will see, there is now a new thumbnail on the bottom. That is a new raw file that was created inside of Adobe Camera Raw, which now can be opened inside of Photoshop. Now the differences between using Topaz Gigapixel AI and using Photoshop's method is with Photoshop's method, you get that raw file. So if, you, if this was not a super old photo like this and it was a little bit more modern, then there's more that you'll be able to do with that photo, of course. But my goal here is to show you the side-by-side -side of these two photographs so you can see the difference between what Gigapixel did and what Photoshop did with Super Resize. So on the right side, we have Gigapixel's version, and you can see right now it is at 93.8% of the uh, sort of zoom level. And if we just go in, and we go in to 300%, and we go right to the eyes, I'm gonna try to match these up on both sides. And then on the Photoshop side, we are at 120 already zoomed in. And if we go to 300%, and we go down again, you'll see there's a difference because we can still zoom in more on the Photoshop side. Now, if we do the side-by-side -side comparison, you'll see that right away, 
uh, we've got more texture here and we have more digital artifacts on the Photoshop side. And if we zoom in a little bit more to try to match this even better, that's a little bit closer, you'll see that it's still you're getting these artifacts over here at 400% versus 300% on the Topaz side. So Topaz did a better job at actually uh, sort of keeping the artifacts out of the photo by recreating those pixels as texture, whereas Photoshop sort of just expanded it and added in the artifacts. Now again, this would be better with a more modern photo. So we're going to go ahead and just quickly switch over to a more modern photo. I'm going to stay with the karate sort of feel to it. And let's see how it does. This is an old, this is a photo of my father-in-law. And obviously he's not really hurting this young student. Uh, this is many years ago. He was actually posing, <laughs> trying to do an example, whatever, for some sort of training thing that was going on. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to uh, do opening camera raw. As you can see, this is a very small photo to begin with. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to do enhance and just let it enhance. And then I'm going to go over to that raw file and hit open. Now it's going to open this in Photoshop and then I'm going to do the same thing in Gigapixel. And again, we'll compare uh, a more modern photo. It's again, an old scan, but we will compare these two. Right away inside of Gigapixel, you can see it's not doing too much to clean things up, but I'm going to hit save image and we're going to save these anyway. And I'm doing this at 4% because I feel like if we go any further, it's not going to be very beneficial. Okay, so again, we have Gigapixel on the right and Photoshop's on the left. First thing I notice is that the Gigapixel one is larger and isn't really much clearer than the Photoshop one. It's got a little bit more sharpness going on on the right side. The Photoshop one is actually quite small. If you look at it at 100% versus 100%, you'll see that Gigapixel made it larger out of the gate at a 4x enlargement, where Photoshop made it maybe a, a 1 or a 2x enlargement. It's not much bigger than the original. But you can see that 100%, this one still looks clear. Whereas the Photoshop one, if I make it the same size, it starts to lose the, uh, the detail and you start to see more artifacts. Let's do one more photo, a more modern photo. Again, well, I'll stick with the karate theme. So this photo originally was quite large, but I've actually shrunk it down to 800. And I'm going to right click, open in camera raw. And then I'm, as you can see, we're starting to get some artifacts. I'm going to right click and hit enhance. And we're going to make a super resolution and we're going to open it up in Photoshop. And now I'm going to head over to Gigapixel. I'm probably going to stick to 4x just for this example. And we're just going to hit Save Image. I'm not going to do any other refinements. And I'm going to open it up inside of Photoshop. First thing we'll notice is the Gigapixel one is sharp. Look how crisp that is. Even along between the background and the, and the people, there are, and these, this is my karate instructor, by the way. Um, <laughs> You can see that there is uh, no artifacts along the edges. It looks super crisp. Whereas the Photoshop version, there's still some major artifacts and it's smaller by default. It is smaller. Uh, this is 165% to fill this, fill this frame. This is 82.5%. It's not even full size. This is full size. And then if I go back, this is full size for that. So you can see there's a big difference in what Photoshop is doing natively with super resize versus what uh, Gigapixel is capable of doing. Now I'm seeing a lot of people on YouTube and in blogs saying that super resolution is knocking Gigapixel out of the park. I, I, I can't confirm that. Um, I, I, I'm not seeing the same thing. I'm seeing uh, Gigapixel <laughs> really do better than what Photoshop is currently doing. Of course, this is still brand new to Photoshop. So, you know, time will tell what will happen. And of course, Photoshop has the power of Adobe Sensei. So, it's got some of the best AI in the world for photographs, so it's going to get better for sure. Hopefully they refine and improve it before they throw it into Lightroom as well, because uh, Lightroom doesn't need more features right now. Lightroom needs more speed. So if they're going to throw it in, they better make sure it's darn good and not just what we're seeing right here. So there you go. Three different examples. A super old photo from the maybe the 1800s, 1700s. I don't even know. A very old photo from probably the 80s. And then uh, we've got a photo from about 2008, 
2018, 2016, something like that. I'd have to go back into my archives. It could, be, could even be 2012 for all I know. I'd have to figure it out. But anyway, there you go. That is Gigapixel AI versus Photoshop's new super resolution feature. You be the judge. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below right now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday, whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.